create a new group which I will call Ornaments 2. And I believe I will just start with the Bezier tool down here. And using the tree as a guide, I'm just going to sort of make outlines back and forth. And when I'm finished drawing basically a scribble like that across the pattern of the tree without closing it, I'm just going to type the return key and have that created as a new path that's not closed. I'm just going to line everything up with the beginning of the project again. So I'll go to the beginning and type I to bring everything in. Next thing I want to do is go to the shape tool and just draw a small circle. Holding down the shift key I can get a nice perfect little circle. And the size of it really doesn't matter but something like that. Now all you have to do is go to the replicator and in the replicator controls for the shape you want to go to geometry. And then we will drag our little scribble into the shape source well. We can increase the number of points and you see as I increase the number of points they get scattered along the line of the scribble which creates a nice little randomized arrangement kind of like you'd see on a real tree. Take our transform tool and drag this over to line up over the tree shape. Now we'll use our 3D tool and we'll pull this out just a little bit so that you get more showing all across the front. And turn off our Bezier and select the original circle here we'll go to the style tab and for the fill mode let's switch to gradient and for the gradient for the first tab here we will switch this to white and for the bottom tab here we will use a dark gray and then we can squeeze these in a little bit to give us this sense of roundness or spherical shape to the circles. We can select the circle from the replicator and for the color mode we want to pick from color range. And for the gradient let's just use rainbow. Now you can leave this like it is or you can create just step patterns by clicking on the swatch here and changing the interpolations to constant. And then rearrange this so We can make room for our magenta here at the end. There we go. Now in the scale section down here, let's scale the, everything down. Something like that. And then you can do scale and to make the ones at the bottom a little larger. And you can run a little 
that are scale random through here if you like and if you don't like the color arrangement I've got too many blues in this you can just click the random seed and just find something you like in the replicator you have other options for the offset which will shuffle everything along the line you drew from your bezier and you can shuffle the order if you like switch this to 3D And that's pretty much it. I can turn the light back on. Okay, a couple other things on the select the original circle, and I'm going to add a glow bloom. Let's just keep it kind of simple and turn the brightness up. You got something like that, and then on top of that, the next thing we'll add is a glow and dazzle. And for dazzle, we're going to turn the brightness down, turn the amount up. and adjust the threshold until you just get a nice little light shine off the bloom and then you can adjust the bloom to make it more natural something like that okay And let's see how it looks in the rest of our scene. I've got the light on, and I'll put the star back on. I'll add the snow, move the playhead to the middle somewhere so we actually can see some snow. And I have ornaments two on, and I will put our new ground in from the last installment. Now I have a tree group here and I have my ornaments up here and I have to readjust this scene a little bit so what I want to do is move the ornaments group into the tree group and then I can use my on-screen controls for the tree group here select the tree group and then just settle this down onto our snow. You'll have to adjust the star too if you want, but actually that looks pretty good. Now you could easily turn these ornaments into tree lights if you wanted to, and you could change your bezier into something that looks like light strings, and just turn the fill off. Hope you find this helpful and I will catch you on the next one.